What is up guys? Today I'm really excited because it is my reading week and it is really nice outside. It is February like 26th I believe but um, it's around 8 degrees Celsius and I feel like it's perfect weather to go out and take my bike for a ride. So my friend Justin is gonna come and meet me. We are going for a quick ride. There is my bike. That is the CB500F for you guys that don't know. She's been sleeping in the garage for the past three or four months and I actually haven't been riding with um, Justin since October or November since I put away the bike like I've seen him and we've gone over to motorcycle shows and stuff this is like the first official ride of 2018 since I haven't been riding the bike for a while I'm gonna go and make sure that the tire pressure is okay if not um, I'm gonna have to go ride to a nearby gas station to fill up the air It is giving me a reading of just below 30 psi, which is not good. It's really low. It should be around 36. Check the back tires. And that is 33. So guys, it is really important to make sure and check your bike before you start riding, especially when you have stored it over the winter time. Um, you got to check the tire pressure and you got to check all the fluids, your brake lines. And just do a quick glance over with the bike, making sure that the chain is okay, the tires are okay. This will really decrease the chance of you getting into an accident. So it's really encouraged that you do these checks because these are all problems that can be avoided. So definitely take the time to check it before you start riding. So I got my pouch, I got my water, got my keys, helmet, GoPro 5, which is giving me a lot of trouble. The screen is not working, so I'm really pissed about that, but whatever. Got my ski mask because it's still only 8 degrees. And lastly, I got my new gloves. Awesome. Really excited to try these guys out. They fit really nice and I know they're going to be good quality. They're only $100 Canadian, so I was really happy about that. I hear somebody. Ooh. <laughs> nice, nice. I like the colors, man. Dang. What's going on, man? A little chilly. Is it? Yeah, it's 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 chilly, man. Bro, you got your puffy jacket. Dude. Are you wearing two pairs of pants? Uh, it's like long johns. Yeah. And then uh, just my jeans. I'm wearing like, I'm wearing like double socks. It's cold, like man. Like two pairs of pants. Yo, I'm hot in this, man. Oh. I can't wait to start riding. Touch hand is not used to it. Miss this bike, man. It's so loud. Good. I'm getting hot over here. <laughs> oh, you just wait. <laughs> What's going on guys? It is actually a new day. We were on our way to GP and something actually happened. So my friend Justin, he, while he was riding, what happened was like you lost all your power, right? Yeah, I lost all my power on the highway. Yeah, so like literally in the middle of 401, which is one of the biggest highways in Toronto, he lost his power and he had to um, pull over to the side right away. Um, do you mind if I show them the footage? Yeah, yeah, that's fine. Okay, so you can see the footage right now here.
so yeah it's it's a good lesson so what happened was um he forgot to connect the battery properly so he connected the negative but not the positive and you know what's really surprising is that you actually started riding you were riding for like Probably a like good about, an hour yeah right? about an hour to get home yeah so it was working fine and all of a sudden he lost connection so lesson of the day is make sure you connect the batteries properly